Hi everyone, uh, we're going to show you something which is not, I would say, quick and easy. It's a card that was demonstrated by uh, Jeanette, who's just joined the Cath Group, and Jeanette demonstrated to us, and we learned how to do it only what, last Thursday? Mm -hmm. Last Thursday. It is absolutely beautiful, but it is not, it's not straightforward. And I have to say, I really admire you for for doing this one because it's it's not the most straightforward of cards. So bear with us if we're a bit slow or get something wrong, but that is what it looks like. And if you go to the blog, there's pictures of our first attempts. That's correct. In fact, you were going to write about what happened that night, but that might no, come yet. You said I was going to write about uh, what happened that well, night. I was you and might. I never quite got around to it. <laughs> but it's a stunning card, and that is one that Alice has made, so it's it's absolutely beautiful. It's actually for somebody's birthday, so you can yes, somebody's show birthday's it. on Sunday, so shh. But we wouldn't put it on the way. Don't put it on, don't put it on till after <laughs> So I shall put that out the road for the moment. At least I? it shows that it actually works, even no matter what was wrong just now. Right. So you start off by oh, getting the board again, if you've got the board. I'm getting a piece of A4 card, and again, same as the, the pocket one, you're making a line on the, the DL fold, All right. and you cut it into, fold it into two, and cut the third off, so that you get that bit. And then I did a wee bit of the So you measure down two centimetres, you'll need a centimetre ruler, maybe here in this seam, sorry. It's all centimetres. Two centimetres down and you draw a wee line of 1.5 centimetres out the way. I think they can see that you've drawn half boxes on the side there. So basically it's two centimetres between each box. That makes basically it easy. you just want three different sizes boxes with roughly two centimetres between them. Right. So having marked your, your shapes there, you then proceed to so you cut it along the line to reach the end of the first box. Cut along the line to reach the end of the first box. So you've got it like that. And then when you've got them all cut, it looks like that. Yes, you can see it. Yes, you can see that there's three boxes in various states of disarray. Ruth showed you the first one, which is completed. The second one shows it half completed. Like that. And the third one, we're actually going to try and finish just now. So this is the... the that's the brave bit. That's the brave bit. That's the brave, <laughs> brave, 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 brave bit. Because it's not... We started, we started at what? Half past seven, eight o'clock on Thursday night. <laughs> took us three hours. Three hours, three hours to make hours. <laughs> Till we got all the... What measurements is that again? Yes. So we ended up... Jeanette taught us very You want to uh, cut out little bits of paper. You need three different patterns of paper. Or if you want three boxes the same. That's all right. It can be different if you want. So you cut out little shapes to match what you've cut out here. So basically, you wanted to do whatever measurements you've made your box the same size, so that it fits on there. Same with the second one, that it fits on the second one, and the third one, that it fits on the third one. Okay. That way, where you see the way the box is. It took me ages to figure out how this bit popped out, but you should be able to put your finger down the back behind each box, so it looks as if you're looking down in beside. To me, just to, to figure it's out quite how that the fold lines on the other side of the little boxes, so that they do fold. Are you scoring with the pricking pen? Are you? Pricking tool. I don't know what you use. How did you use to do it? I think I used a ruler and a scorer. Right, well this actually scores the paper. So I did that, I would probably... Put it right through to the other side. And this is where, once you put your paper on, you've got to do a bit of squeezing and folding. That was the bit that I think actually Jeanette did that bit for me. So you have to push the back through. That's it. Yes. So you have to 
push, you've got the fold at the back and you've got to push that through to the front and fold it to the front, is that right? Yeah, so that it's folding on those lines that I've just scored. Which gives you your three box effect. It's kind of complicated. Well, it's, it's, it it's reversing the folds. It's sort of the like mountain and valley folds. The folds at the back and you're pushing the fold through and making it at the front. So basically, you've got your three boxes pushed through to the inside. Like that. And as Ruth pointed out, the space That's better right, because you, you can see right down the inside then. And that shows what you're aiming for. And it looks very complicated. <laughs> I love the expression, what we're aiming for. Well, it took me ages to do that one. I think, well, I think you're exceptionally brave to do this one. Well, let's just see. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. Zoom back. So, That's we've fun. got this one. <laughs> right, okay. Where I have already stuck the papers on. What I've used to stick them on is, is one of these roller tapes, which is great. Or you could use double-sided tape. Or prit, the glue sticks. Glue sticks are not messy glue. You get a little bit of leeway with the prit sticks because yes. you can move it, but it makes it a bit bumpy, the paper. Yes. So what I found easiest was to put your pieces of paper on with your card flat. Just lay them down. Can you zoom? By the way? Oh, we're going out the way again, sorry. That's it. Lay them down flat on your mat and put your little bits of coloured paper on top of your gifts while they're flat and then do all your folding and pushing and getting the boxes to pop out. Once you put your three papers on, you want to put some ribbon on it. Now I had uh, used double sided tape to stick down the whole bit of the ribbon but Jeanette actually had a better idea. Instead of sticking it on the front, if you leave it loose at the front it looks more natural because your ribbon doesn't stick all the way around the gift box. Sorry. So what you do is you put your ribbon through to the back and you use something like magic tape to hold it down or sell the tape. So I've done the, the, the first two and left the third one to let you see where it goes. So if the third one has a little bit on the back, see where it's coming through. And it's hanging loose on the front waiting for me to do the other end. So you basically push that down, bring it through the, the back and tape hold it. it back. All right, okay, just keep it there. So now you've got the two bits of tape holding the ribbon on. And you do the same with this bit that's waggling about. You bring it down over the front of the gift, up the oh, back. Jeanette also gave us a lovely idea of putting the same paper behind the gift boxes in the completed one. I don't know if you can see this. It's quite difficult to show it. But behind the boxes, you've got the same paper as in front of the boxes. It actually makes you want to think you want to pop something down inside the box, except it would fall out the bottom, but um, it gives a real impression of a real box. It does. So Jeanette suggested um, that we just use one strip of paper right down the seam on the back, which is quite simple, but you unfortunately want to, I thought you want to, I wanted to make it more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the proper uh, bits of paper behind each box. So I cut out... Again, little bits of paper, same as what went in front of the box, but make them slightly larger this time. And basically you're wanting to tuck that behind on the seam of the card. This is quite difficult to do. You've got to position your insert bit. What I want to do is let you talk through that one because I think to zoom in on this one might be very unfair. <laughs> I think we keep you not, not zoomed in until you get this where you want all well done. Oh, there's one on. <laughs> so far, so good. So this far, is where it could all go completely into an outtake. Can you see that? Are we in more? Right. 